Okay, today we're installing on the Pioneer 700. Uh, the two tools you'll need to install this is a 7 16 inch uh, wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. Other than that, everything is supplied for you. Uh, and this is our uh, standard non-mar resistant windshield. It comes with the uh, semi-opaque clear cover on it. Uh, the mar resistance comes with a more white one. Our first step of what we want to do here is we want to fill this plastic back just past these holes. Two things this does. Keeps our fingers from being all over the windshield. It also allows us, if, if there's any problem with your windshield or something, this allows you to be able to return the windshield. Uh, keep the plastic on there until you get it installed. Like I said, keeps your fingerprints off it and covers you in case there's any problem. Now, I'm going to take this windshield and I'm going to set this up. Okay, on this one it's, it's easier, and I think this with all of them, it's easier to have somebody hold them. Help hold it. You're going to have to be able to hold that for me. And what we're going to do, we're going to take and put our bottom two brackets on first. And we have a longer bolt for this bottom one because it's a bugger to get on. So, use your longer bolt for the bottom one. Some instructions there. I'm going to get that guy on. I'm just going to barely finger tighten that guy up. Grab out our other long bolt and come over here. Get this all set. You know, while I'm doing this, just a couple things, you know, just like where I need to, this guy's got a little thing connected on the inside of here. If you have mirrors, um, you're usually better in moving your mirrors up into this little area between where the slots are. It's a good area to put the mirror. You can take a notch out of the windshield if you need to for uh, setting your mirrors. Um, polycarbonate isn't like your acrylics. It's nothing at all like an acrylic, so it won't crack or break when you're cutting, you know, if you, if you need to cut it or something like that for a mirror. Now, I'm going to get these on all relatively tight. Just snug them up, and then I'm going to... One of the things we want to remember too when we're doing this is never, ever, ever use Loctite on plastic. This is a thing for this windshield as well as for any other purposes. That's perfect. All right, so you see, what I'm doing there is before I even go and connect anything else on, I can check right now and make sure this windshield fits right. Which, if you, this is me designing them, I want them tight. This is, this is the, the way it fits for the factory hardtop. Uh, you have a little bit of gap over underneath here, which really hasn't been any part of an issue with water or anything like that. It does give you some, um, some air circulation over the top. Uh, due to how far this hangs over, really, with the water, it's not even an issue. And this air circulation, <coughs> pardon me, over the top keeps the dust out of your cab in times when you're, you know, it's cold and you have your windshield up, but it's also dusty. This, uh, this allows for some airflow over the top, reducing the vortex and such. So now that I know this windshield fits, what I'm going to do, because I like putting the dash brackets on um, at this point, because they just help in lining everything up. So we're going to... All right, so we're going to take this plastic grommet out right here. As you can see, this kind of lines up with this hole right here. And then what we're going to do is feed our little plastic grommet back down through there. And seriously, it's a little bit easier to put that guy in first. And then shove him down. And I like to get these connected on. Like I say, this helps us in lining it up. I know that I just need to be down just a touch, just like that. You see how that all of a sudden just popped right into place? This gives my windshield additional structural strength. Pound that guy down inside of there nice and tight. And literally, if you'd like to, while you're at this point, you can go ahead and cinch this guy up. Let's see, leave the other guys off for a second while you leave the sides loose. Go over. Again, just like you're saying over there, 
put that through there get it kind of stuck stuck in because just a little bit easier to manipulate it and see that now since we kind of lined up that side this side's basically just popping right into place and push that guy down see and that one went down easier sometimes they go down easy sometimes they need a little hammer or wrench or whatever you have handy to pound on it blunt force object blunt force object there we go <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we've got everything positioned and nice and tight. So now all we're going to do is just now we're going to secure up these right here. Now, when I go to secure these up, the one thing that my one piece of advice is put some force forward on your wrench. I push that in with my finger a bit like that and give that some force going forward. So we go through and just tighten those all up like that. There we go. Now that's all secured down. The majority of your windshield installation is completed at this time. There's a couple, a couple things we're going to do. We need to put a center support bracket in here. We need to put our bumpers on here. And just for you as you're watching this, um, this is the factory hardtop that we're installing here. So if you happen to be ordering your windshield and you haven't ordered your windshield yet and you have this top right here, all you need to tell us is that you have a factory hardtop. And as you can see, we have the numbers dialed in. Uh, sometimes we ask you to take measurements, uh, you know, if you've got something other than a factory hardtop because we want to make sure that the windshield is able to clear the bottom of the, uh, the roof there. Um, so what I'm going to do to put these uh, bumpers on is I'm just going to hook these straps up lightly to begin with. So my first strap goes smooth side facing me, clip to the front, clip to the top. Um, smooth side facing me, clip to the front. I'm going to latch those two around there like that. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to get carried, I just wanted to get carried away there. I just about did. But really in doing this one, we're not securing this to be towing it. We're securing it. I still want a little bit of room underneath there because I'm going to need to put four bumpers on this guy. So, again, smooth side facing me, clip to the top. Yep, I still got some room there. Okay, now I'm going to take my bumpers. And as stated, I'm going to be putting four bumpers here. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to put two right here. And then I'm going to put one right over on this side over here again. So just gonna go around that. So first bumper, what we wanna do is just, that's why we don't wanna get the windshield too tight down. We wanna be able to lift it up a little bit and get that in place. See, I just got that right there, basically centered right underneath it. I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side here. Right there, and then I'm going to run two right here in the center. Hits right, kind of almost basically against this hood, right as it flares up right there. So I'm going to put two right on that flare going up. So we got nice. Now, everywhere where that windshield was touching the body, it's now touching a bumper, which keeps it nice and smooth so you can. So, so that your windshield is protected when you're driving it down the road and tow. When we go to tilt this up, we've got to put our, the uh, one thing that we still have to install is our center support bracket. Uh, but before I, I install that, just put these on one more time. Just kind of show you. Oh, I haven't put them actually on the side ones for you yet. So what we're going to do here is smooth side facing us, clip to the front, and we don't want to secure those until we have our center support bracket. But, so that's what I'm going to do with those. Smooth side facing me, clip to the front. Oh, fuck me. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> I keep saying those words on me.
I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here, taking that smooth side facing me. And I'll just have these all in place. So once I get my center support bracket put in place, I can strap these down and this puppy is ready to rock and roll. Our center support bracket is gonna go basically just like this. So this rounded part is gonna go over the top of the roll bar. This flat part is coming on the bottom part of the roll bar. So the bracket's gonna sit like that. Okay, so now we're gonna install the center support bracket. Bracket, and hook that on there. Just gonna secure that down a little bit there, but still so I can rotate this around good enough. And then what I wanna do is set that right there. And you're gonna notice, come to the side there, and that sticks forward, makes the windshield stick out about a quarter inch. Or maybe even a little bit more than that. Okay, so we secure our wing nut on there, and that gives us our center support right there. Now we're all set, and we can just now, what we do is just secure our straps down. This secures us in the up position. Brandon's gonna hit that side for me. This side. And this center support bracket, now that we're all locked in there, this gives us our rigidity up here, so we can push on this hard. This gives our rigidity down here, so we have a nice solid windshield while we're traveling down the road. Now we're uh, it's uh, we're either going to be we're on our way home, uh, we have an open trailer, or it's getting warm or it's getting dusty, and we want to tilt our windshield down. What we're basically going to do is we're going to reach inside of here, and we're going to release our wing nut. Now what I do is just go ahead and take that bolt out, and then just basically reattach it right back on to that bracket. Some people take the bracket off. You can do that. You can remove them, whichever you prefer. Some people put a little hook, just hook the little bracket up on the roof there. So there's a multitude of options you can go with. But whatever you do, you're going to take that off. We're going to pull our windshield out. Then what we're going to do is again, as I showed you earlier, smooth side face me, flip to the front. Smooth side facing me, clip to the front. And now on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to pull him as hard as I can and I'm going to lock that back guy on there and then take and wrap that one around the roll bar. And then I'm going to go and do the exact same thing over here. Smooth side facing me. side facing me and then as I said pull this one down as tight as you can hook that one onto the back and wrap that one around now we've got it basically double velcro this velcro is secured across that whole piece that velcro is secured across that whole piece and this windshield is locked into place I mean I'm pulling that as hard as and uh, you can see that it's not moving. This is how it's designed to be towed down the road. This is how it's designed to be uh, driven when you're, uh, when you're in the down position. Don't just tilt it down. Um, the wind can grab your windshield and throw it up. I always re recommend strapping it down. You may not need to get this extreme and tighten it as tight as I have it right here, unless you're towing it. When you're towing it, you always want it nice and tight. I tighten it down like this every time I take mine off because, well, I'm annoyed by it bouncing. So I don't want it to move. So I secure it down the same. I'm going to tow it as if I'm driving around. And uh, this is also our position. One of the great things about our windshield and the tilt windshield, one is it gives you both advantages of a half windshield to give you the airflow and such. But also um, one of the reasons why we don't make a non-tilting windshield is because I do not know how you clean a non-tilting windshield out on this trail. Um, plastics are designed to be rinsed off with water first before washing them off with anything or you will scratch them so the only way you can really wash your windshield this part of it I don't know how you wash that windshield with water unless you're at home with your power washer here you tilt the windshield down rinse it off with a little water dry it with a clean cloth and it's 
good to go. Tilt it up, wash off the outside, dry it with a clean cloth, good to go. If you want to add something extra to it, you, we have a Novus One product. It's fantastic for anti-static, keeps the dust collection off of your windshield. Uh, but other than that, water and uh, microfiber cloth are my recommended things. If you want to do additional cleaning on it, uh, Dawn with some soap is perfect. Uh, it's, it's, it's not harsh on it. Never, ever, 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 ever use Windex. Never use Windex. Windex is the worst product available. Paper towels are about along the lines of Windex. So two things that will destroy windshields, paper towels, and Windex. So don't use either of those. Uh, we appreciate your business. Maintenance on the Velcro straps. Oh, maintenance on the Velcro straps. Yes, thank you. Um, Velcro straps. I mean, you know, th this is something, this is just a, an, an additional accessory item, if you would. If these straps become worn or torn over time, it's your responsibility to replace them. We warranty our windshields, but these little straps, we don't warranty the straps. If they get worn, we really, I mean, I've had mine for five years on mine, so I don't know what it takes to get, and mine have been in dirt and every single thing. I've, I'm not, uh, I don't keep my Rhino clean. Um, so I, I use it, so I've never had a problem with them. But if you do need straps, contact us. If you can't find them locally, we have these ones specially made for us, um, and extra strong, and, and, and the metal clips and all that kind of stuff. To make them solid, so you can buy them from us. They're like two or two fifty right now, two thousand fifteen. So, um, you know, they're right in that couple bucks a piece. So, uh, we appreciate your business, and if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thanks.